guys, what's up? My name is Liz and welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to take you guys to LA with me. I thought that I would show you guys my process as an actor because today I have an acting masterclass that I have to get to, but being an actress that is that does not live in LA, this is exactly what I have to do almost every single day. I'm three hours away from where I have to go, so I have to get going like right now because I'm running late. So I'm excited. So I'm taking with me this binder, which is for good luck. It has all of my all of my scripts that I've had done before, and it has a headshot and a resume on the back. So I'm taking this with me because it's LA and I'm an actress and I have to have this stuff in my car because I had a really bad instance where I forgot mine at home once and it was horrible. So I went through a lot of problems with it. I ended up not getting to the audition because of it. It was upsetting, like very upsetting. So you always got to gear up when you're an actor. Just got to say. Okay, I'm actually super excited that I get to go to LA today because I know a lot of people are like, LA, like LA sucks. I don't get why you're so excited. But I, lo I love being able to go to LA because I mean, I don't live there. And... At this moment in time, being an actress that lives in San Diego is really, really, really hard. Like, <laughs> the hardest thing that I've ever had to do was go to LA every weekend to do a film or to, like, go to auditions. It's the hardest thing ever. I have to plan my days in advance. I have not had any breakfast because I don't eat before an audition. Just like I don't eat before a photo shoot, I don't eat before an audition. It's just something that I do. It's like something that I feel that I'm like, it, I don't really want to eat because then I get bloated and it gets worse. All my fears get into my head and I just, even though I'm hungry, I don't eat. I just drink water, which I forgot my water bottle by the way. I'm gonna have to stop somewhere and get something to drink. And also probably get like, I don't know, a stick of cheese or something. The class is at 12 and I'm gonna be arriving there at 11 o'clock. I don't know, I'm gonna have to kill an hour. I'd rather kill it when I'm there than when I'm on my way there. So I just got out of class. I arrived to LA at around 11, but I forgot that I had to do a scene and then completely blasted it. I completely forgot that we had to do a scene during the class and I thought that we were gonna have, like they were gonna give it to us and we were gonna prepare, but that did not happen. And since it was an actual agent, I was upset. The agent, he was so nice, like really, really nice. And I, I went in, I was running late already because I was gonna print out a scene. I went to Office Depot and everything and the file that I was trying to send to them was not working. It was already 11.50 and I was going to do like, to print it out, but I was like, you know what, Never mind. And I just ran, got into the car and it wasn't turning on. My car wasn't turning on at all. I was, I was, freaking out because I was like oh my god I'm already late so what I did was I actually I have a charger you see the mess in the back like that black thing right there that is the bottom of my car like my trunk so I actually have to open it and charge the battery from that side so that it can turn on so I had to do all of these things and it drove me nuts and then I, I finally got it to turn on and I found a parking space and everything and then I run out for getting my folder with my headshot and my scene and, and the spare scene that I had, a backup scene, which that saved my life. You guys really need to, like if it's, need to have several scenes ready, monologues ready, everything you have to have it all ready in like folder, printed form and stuff because it's not going, like if something goes wrong, you can't do anything about it. So I got super, super scared because I was like, what do I do? I got to the freaking room and then I realized I didn't have my folder so they were about to do the scenes and I had to run out and I parked pretty far from the building so I had to run and I was like dying I was like unable to breathe and stuff so when I finally got it I ran back inside and I had to wait for the girl that was going up to finish her 
her scene and then I went inside and luckily it was a scene that I had done before for one of my projects that I that I come out in. It's called The Opportunity by David Avila. It's on, I don't know if he posted it on YouTube, but if he did, I'm gonna ask and if he did, then I'm probably gonna link it up here so you guys can go see it and see me act. <laughs> so I did that. Any hoosie, I thought that I would tell you guys a couple of tips for acting. So I know I did a modeling 101 and now I'm gonna do an acting 101. I thought that first I would tell you guys, well, several tips for this career if you guys want to do that acting is a very demanding job and it's very 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 competitive so that means that you have to take care of yourself take care of like your skills you have to take care of your body you have to take care of your face you have to take care of your voice because if you want to do acting there's several branches there is voice acting, there is acting for the film and camera, there is acting for soap opera, there is acting for commercials, and there is there is acting for theater, which is like musicals or just plays. Like there is just so much that you can do with when it comes to acting, which is why it's a very competitive uh, field. What I have seen a lot of people talk about is that since it is a very competitive field, it is really hard to keep it going. So you have to first, very first step, go and create a reel. So that means use websites like Backstage, LA Casting, Actors Access, those are the three that I mainly focus on. Backstage is more for student films which will help you create the reel that you need to be able to like submit to an agent which is actually step two. Once you have your reel, then you go and submit to an agent your profile and your reel and once you have the reel done and finished and looking pretty and making you look good then you go and show it to the to the agent submit to as many agents as possible as many agents as you want as many agents agents as you can guys i am serious when i mean that this feels since it is very competitive you just have to put your name out there and have people see who you are see you so there is many characters there is many roles that are gonna fit you but there are also a lot of roles that are not gonna fit you you have to know the kind of person that you are so who you are really exp is expressed through acting Impressive. Jesus. Damn. Okay. What was I talking about? Acting for the camera is very intimate. So they like can do close-ups and you're like right here and your facial expressions have to be on point. They can't be too much and they can't be too like small that you can't even tell that you're just like plain. So getting yourself into this kind of field where why am I losing my train of thought? Jesus, I think it's because I'm driving and doing this at the same time. I got it So you have to know the kind of person that you are so that you know what kind of roles fit you best Basically moral of the story you need to know who you are and you need to know what suits you best so that it can work out for you and you can express who you really are in the character like add a little bit to your of yourself to the character in itself this is a dangerous field because sometimes they really scam you like they like if they ask you to pay like some money in advance to be represented or to go to an audition or something it is a, like a scam it is fake you don't have to pay to audition for anything you don't have to pay to audition for anything so it's not until you get paid as an actor that they will like that they will ask for like usually the 10 percent of the paycheck that the production is giving you a good agency will take 10 percent off of whatever you get from the production they won't ask to be paid in advance they will tell you whatever money you make from the film we will take 10 percent of that and that is for the representation so yeah some some agents like to do like 20 percent don't think that it's just the 10 percent it's like sometimes they like up the stakes higher which is crazy but most agencies most agencies go for 10 percent and that is it side note you guys need to like keep on with your skills go and learn as much as you can an actor or actress has to be a scholar you guys have to know everything you guys have to know history you guys have to know music you guys have to know all of these things 
to be able to get as much stuff as you can and catch the eye of people, basically. So you have to train for other things like, I don't know, learn karate, learn how to skate, learn how to fight. I don't know, stage fighting, stage combat is actually very important. It is a very expensive field like to spend a lot of money on. Like you have to pay for these classes and there's so much stuff to work on when it comes to acting and it's very expensive. So, so you guys are gonna have to keep a side job basically until you get noticed by someone, a big agency or like you get a good film that takes off and you become famous and a celebrity and stuff like that. After getting the agent, everything becomes a lot easier though. The agent is the one that submits you. You just have to be aware that before you get the agent, you're self-submitting to a lot of stuff. It depends on if you are in union. I'm not sure about this. You guys correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong. But I don't think agents take you in if you're not part of the union. But if you're part of like if you're part of the union, which is the SAG after, if you're for film, you're SAG. If you're for theater and film, then you're SAG after. And then there's just after. So you have to really know which one like you want to do but there's a lot of unions out there guys there are several ways to get into the union if you are in a SAG related film they will give you a pink slip or a slip or whatever that says that you were in that film and you need to collect three of those so that you can become SAG eligible and then and then pay the three thousand dollar joinment membership fee I know that's a lot of money I told you guys it was expensive so there is a secret to get into the union but I will tell you guys that secret later. If you go to an open casting call to a big movie or whatever and they suddenly tell you that you're cast in a leading role on a SAG film, you will have to join it. It's not like you're SAG eligible. It's like you have to join the union. You will have to pay the $3,000 right then and there because you have to be a part of the union when filming in big productions. Oh my god, there's a dog right here. You see him? He's right there. Oh, he just left. So after you are part of the agency and stuff like that in the union and stuff, um, if the agent accepted you and you're already part of the union, then they will uh, submit you to mostly union work. You cannot do any non-union work once you're a part of the union. That's the one flaw with it. If you're actually non-union and the agent gets you, then the agent will try to, I'm pretty sure the agent will try to submit you to roles, to auditions for um, union pro projects that will eventually get you into the union which will lead to better roles. After that, it's just you riding along with the wave and going and beating up everything that you can, going into all of the auditions, trying to nail every single one of you can, and if it doesn't, then it doesn't, you know? But you get into the auditions that the agent gives you. I suggest doing every single one of them, not missing a single one. All right, so now it's time for the last and final one that I told you guys. There's no back alley to get into anything, honestly. It's just networking, becoming friends with everybody, like casting directors, uh, actual movie directors, you know, like, stuff like that. Until you get into the bigger leagues and stuff like that. The one thing, don't at me, do not tell people that I told you this, but there is one tiny little secret that I know of that might help. Don't at me, I'm about to tell you the big secret. <laughs> it is commercials. Whether you wanna do SAG after whether you want to do SAG whether you want to do like film soap operas or anything if you want to become a part of the union for SAG do commercials if you do a commercial you instantly become SAG eligible and they pay money like so you get into a commercial the production will will pay you to like, distribute that exact same commercial without having to be a part of the union. You don't have to be a part of the union to be in a commercial. So commercials choose you. Say you get picked for one commercial that airs internationally and it airs for like about a year. You get paid a lot of money. So if you're having problems with money, you become a little bit more stable and you become SAG eligible off the bat, right, immediately. It's like it's the one secret because commercials allow non-union actors to get into and start acting in commercials and it'll help. I know that I said that I was gonna show you guys my day as an actress and stuff like that, but because my day as an actress is 
very chaotic, like extremely chaotic. I never have time to actually grab the camera and film. So yeah, I think that is all the tips that I have for you guys today. So this is the end of the video, guys. If you liked this video and it inspired you to keep going, then drop a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments if I missed anything today or, or if I was wrong about anything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the little notification bell because I know that a lot of you watch my videos without actually being subscribed. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Bye!